So one of the most common problems that we have with uh, with calls that we get from our engineers and guys from out the field is that the centrifuge won't turn on. And what you'll normally see is in this keypad there'll be a fault code of EF4. That's external fault 4. What that means is that the gearbox is tripped out. If you look on the keypad here you'll see two red lights. Uh, one indicating that the gearbox is indeed tripped and you'll also see a drive fault light on. So what we'll do today is we'll just show you how you can reset this and get the machine going as soon as possible as we know that uh, time is obviously money and is crucial to your operation. Okay, now we're up top here on the centrifuge. Uh, what we'll do first is we'll remove the four bolts in the guard. They're uh, 9 16 bolts. Uh, use a 9 16 wrench for that. Uh, we'll just take the guard off. And what you can see here is that the trip assembly has been indeed kicked out. What happens, this uh, trip assembly is set up to 110 foot-pounds of torque. Once it gets uh, over torqued, it'll actually kick itself out. This me mechanism right here will shut down any electrical and kick out your panel to prevent spillage or any unnecessary uh, operation of equipment. So once again, we'll reach down here now and reset that back in place. Takes a good little pull. Once it's back in place, we'll then remove all the lid bolts, which are you can do with a 15 16 wrench. These have already been done. Then we'll open the lid. And then we'll roll the centrifuge bowl back and forth in place. Be sure that when the lid is open that we install the safety pin. Obviously for safety reasons so that the lid doesn't come down and potentially crush the worker. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll, we'll roll the bowl back and forth by hand few revolutions each way. Be careful when you're going backwards because there is aluminum on brass right here and uh, you can actually snap off the trip assembly right here. So just roll it until it gets tight, stop and roll the other way. Once you uh, get 10 revolutions easily each way, that should be enough to be able to start up the centrifuge. As an aid to help you unplug the bowl, you can use this one inch here uh, to uh, inject steam through if, uh, if by chance it's been a while since the machine's been down and it's frozen. You can also inject water for water-based muds and base soil uh, with invert muds through that one inch. Uh, just make sure that you also shut off the, uh, the two inch there so fluid, or two and a half inch, so fluid doesn't go back down to the feed pump. But that will uh, allow you to moisten the uh, solids inside of there and should get them moving a little quicker and then kick them out through your solid ports right here on the solid end of your centrifuge. Once you have uh, reset the trip assembly up on the centrifuge, uh, replaced all the guards uh, with the proper bolts, you can come down, properly unlock the electrical setup, and you'll see that the red light here for the gearbox fault, is, or for the drive fault, sorry, is still on on the panel. So in order to remove that, all you would do is just push the reset button and that will clear whatever faults you have there. You should have uh, all lights green, then you can proceed and start up the centrifuge. When you do start the centrifuge, just run the speed up to about 200 RPM until you start to get a nice little pile of solids. Until you get a nice little pile of solids underneath the uh, machine. Uh, you can speed it up to about 400 RPM, at which point in time it'll probably start to jack a bit, so just pinch it back a little tiny bit, maybe 350. Once again, wait till you get some solids out of the machine, and uh, once they're all clear, you should be able to ramp it up to whatever speed you were operating at before. However, we kind of do recommend you pinch back the feed valve a little bit so you won't plug the machine up anymore. One of the most important factors to look at when you're operating the machine is your centrifuge amps. Uh, you don't want to run this uh, any above 96 amps or it'll trip out that gearbox. I would suggest that you run it about 85 amps uh, and you can do that by adjusting either your RPM by your knob on the panel or you can do it by pinching back your feed valve at the, on the feed tube. But once again, you know, you want to be able to over process what the rig is pumping. And this should get you up and running and get you going again.